in your opinion, did the refs lose that game quickly? And I, I thought it happened in the first period where they lost complete control of that game, and that's why we saw 10 minors, including seven power plays for the Leafs. Yeah, it's it's funny because I don't want the the refs to control the game. I liked the game itself because it was high intensity, it was passionate, it was, you know, there was fireworks going off and I mean, I think anyone watching that game thought it was an exciting game, but what you don't want is, you know, you want the I like to when the refs stay out of it, but what you don't want is there to be you know, odd calls like this has been going on all day, but then you call this call, which you've been letting go two or three times already. But then, you know, that made a big splash and a fuss and everyone's yelling at you. So you got to even it up right away with some other POS call that that doesn't really make sense. And you're all over the map. And that's been my biggest problem with the officiating this year. And it seems like it's more pronounced than normal. And I'm not saying it's against the Maple Leafs, you know, sometimes the Maple Leafs think that they get the raw end of the deal and then other people in the league think that they get special treatment and it's just all over the place. And at the end of the day, there's good calls and bad calls made against every single team. It's just more people are following the Maple Leafs, I believe. But I would just like the consistency to be there. And I think that's something the, the league has struggled with maybe in the last 10 years or so where what is a penalty and what is not and you know you're trying to take headshots out of the game i understand but how can you allow body contact but not head contact how how are you supposed to body check a guy who's leading with his head is is he, is he a, a viable target is he able to be contacted with a body check or not and when the game's played that fast you can slow mo everything down and see oh see right here at this angle the principal point of contact was potentially it's like shut up man this is the nhl it's yeah. going so fast either you can body check this guy or you can't if you just blow up his head and not hit anything else of course that's a bad hit and you got to be responsible for those things but then you get with the stick work and i mean i saw something on instagram the other day and it was i can't remember what game it was but literally a defenseman's going into his corner and cutting back up the wall and the guy's reaching with one hand on his stick that's across his pants and the, the the ref's arm just goes up and it's absolutely embarrassing i don't think that the league's getting better by calling these marginal stick infractions it's just i think the players are frustrated the coaches are frustrated because there's no consistency and it's it's difficult because they're trying to take everything out of the game and open it up and protect the heads and everything but you have to have a clear a clear concise rule on this is what's a penalty and this is what's not and i just don't think they're there right now Long story short, the game's just way too fast. And I said this on the show yesterday. I, I just don't envy the job. I, I just think it's next to impossible to call a perfect game, if you will. And there's some there's some better officials than others in this league, but I just chalked it up to an off night. Like you and I off uh, have off off shows sometimes. I mean, it's just humanizing the situation a bit, and the refs just didn't have it the other night in favor, uh, sadly enough, of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I know the Panthers are pissed off. I know Paul Maurice is pissed off, but... It does frequently happen, too, where the Leafs seem to be jobbed a bit. And maybe that's too strong of a word. But I think that's the one thing we forget as fans or media members. Like, these are humans doing the job. And it's the fastest game on the planet on skates at that. Like, I just think it's it's so hard to handicap, so hard to call. And so more times than not, I do give the officials the benefit of the doubt. Having said that, um, certainly in your playing days, I'm sure you had a pretty decent relationship with the officials on the ice. Uh, did you have ones you preferred over others? Like, what was that whole dynamic like being a, a tough guy, a fighter in the league? Yeah, sometimes there was guys that just had reputation for just being dicks, you know, and it, it's like it's like dealing with a police officer, man. You can have, you know, the best one in the world and he's totally rational and reasonable and is just doing his job. And then there's guys that just seem like you just like this, man. You just like this power. You like you like being <laughs> in control and and you run into that sometimes and guys get reputations and you know who's out there. And sometimes before a game, it's like, hey, we got so and so tonight don't say a word to him because if you if you beak off or call him off instead of like trying to listen to what you're saying he'll just double down on you and ruin you and 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 those things can happen because there are egos out there and they are human but i i preferred a guy that was you know talking to you out there and hey rosie hey you know like that was a little bit much there last play rosie i gotta be watching you now you know that and i'm like yeah yeah or else hey i know you're doing your job but but this, that, the other thing, and you're just communicating, you're saying, hey, I got to go up and talk to that guy. You know that. I'm not doing anything. My hands are down, but I'm going to go get in his face, and you know it. And if he does it again, you know what I have to do. So be ready for it. And he's like, I know, Rosie, I know. You know, that stuff's always good. It's just communication, and you build relationships with guys, and there's usually mutual respect. And, um, you know, it's not uh, – 
it's not a job that you envy, like you said, and it's difficult and we're all human out there. And um, usually guys are just doing the best they can trying to stay out of the way. And that's all you can ask for.